Hi, in this video we'll take a look at how you can use a simple web scraping solution using R and specifically we'll take a look at using this library that's the RBEST library and uh, what's amazing about the library is how compact your code is and how much of um, the actual abstraction of content and content extraction is done within the RBEST library. So, uh, of course, this is just a quick overview, and so we can do with very little line of code, but of course, you can imagine in the real world, you're bound to have a lot more code uh, to support these kind of web scraping solution. Uh, so, uh, let's actually talk about the, the web page itself that we will try and extract content from. So, uh, this is an example of a movie. So, this is Deadpool, and we know what the URL is, and let's just say we want to extract this particular section here. So here's a sample code snippet, we'll go through that and then I'll elaborate on the detail. So as I pointed out, it really is three lines of code. Um, so of course it assumes that you already have the package installed and um, you reference the library uh, and uh, this is where the magic starts to happen. So we read the HTML content and uh, then finally um, we extract some content from that and uh, you'll notice we are using uh, pipes here and that's one of the reasons why uh, code is so compact and uh, could uh, uh, could do with three lines of code so if you run that as you expect so that's uh, the output here so we have pretty much extracted um, the, some uh, the description of the movie uh, that's this bit here so if you're wondering how all that was wired up, um, then I'll elaborate uh, on the details. So um, to help us understand what this code is doing, um, so here we are using uh, a CSS selector here. Uh, so if you've not come across CSS selectors in the past, um, it's, uh, it's something that's gaining popularity. Um, unlike um, other approaches, like uh, say for example, you could have used um, uh, the R XML package, which has a built-in read um, as table uh, read HTML table I'm sorry uh, function but uh, if uh, content within the page is not a well formed XML for example that can fail and various others uh, so here um, if we use uh, uh, the library like RVEST um, we could uh, load the content um, or the HTML even if it's not a well formed HTML uh, and use functions like CSS selectors so to see CSS selectors in action uh, one of the things you can do is, um, you, if, you, if you're not familiar with this tool, I uh, highly encourage you to use it. That's a CSS selector gadget. Um, you can uh, add that to Chrome and you'll find that here on the top right. And um, so as an example, if I select that, um, you'll notice that it automatically or visually gave me a way to click on a, a section on the page and it gave me what the CSS selector is. Um, the other way to really understand what's going on is if you um, go to the console here and uh, that's console and document that selector uh, you'll notice it's exactly the same content and it allows us to extract uh, specific content this of course is all in JavaScript uh, but um, just illustrating how it all gets wired up here Alright, so that's an example of how we extracted um, that text. Uh, of course, we uh, we can extract other content like, of course, the name uh, itself, um, uh, numeric values like the ratings and uh, even uh, other structured content within the page here. Like, say, for example, we have things like uh, the cast itself um, and uh, other structured and um, semi-structured information. So it does allow for us to extract this so I've got another example of a code snippet here so here it's pretty much the same concept uh, so I've got uh, two movies here so let me comment out the other so basically what's happening is uh, we are extracting uh, the title I mean the name uh, and as we saw before we are extracting the uh, the summary uh, we are extracting the rating um, so again just as a simple example uh, if I go back here and type uh, strong span uh, and uh, scroll up again you'll notice that it's actually the rating for example here um, and uh, then we can extract the cast and um, in, in this example it's the actual um, cast again so oh, let me just change this to 2 
and uh, let's just run that because I want to extract uh, the actual reviews at the end or comments at the end. So here you can see it's a code here. So we have extracted the 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 title. I'm sorry, the text summary of the movie, the ratings, uh, the review. And as you can see, we are using code here that allows us to extract really structured information. It is a numeric value, so we can do things like uh, conversion to numeric. Um, here we uh, we can extract um, the list of uh, cast and uh, we also have um, uh, a section on the uh, page which uh, has comments here so the message board so it allows us to extract content from here as you can imagine this uh, gives us a rich opportunity to do further analysis on the text like sentiment analysis and various others. Uh, so now that we have written this uh, code for one movie, uh, it's structured um, and uh, so that's great. Uh, it allows us to actually um, uh, use the same code for other um, movies as well. So I've got another movie here. Uh, so uh, that's uh, a Star Wars movie. So by passing in the same movie, uh, I'm sorry, a different URL in this particular case. You can see that uh, it's extracted uh, all the content for that page in a very structured way. So all in all, uh, that's uh, Arvest, a great library to help us uh, extract um, structured information from web pages using CSS selectors. And um, it's convenient to use CSS selectors, but uh, Arvest also supports XPath. So if you're more into XPath, you can try XPath. If not, um, CSS uh, selectors are really, really handy and really uh, quick and easy to use. So that's it for this quick video. Thanks for watching.